In the end of the 90s, uh, we recognized that uh, uh, many government institutions who are running different databases and information systems are starting to interconnect each other. The main idea was that we need some uh, cheap, cheap uh, building block for or data exchange. Uh, we hadn't any plans, we hadn't any strategies, and each day I woke up and thought that uh, with whom today I will speak, what services we can develop today on top of Xroot, etc. Name Xroot uh, came a little bit later, and I think that father of his name was uh, Uno Wallner. We named it Ristvik. The main concept of Xroot has uh, proved to be successful. And uh, of course, uh, we've already seen many versions of X-Road. Uh, the current version number is, is 6. And uh, of course, we need to keep on developing it as technology develops all the time. I think that it's still one of the, how to say, best e-commerce architectures in the world. I am glad that uh X-Road is very popular in many countries, in, uh, in outside of Estonia and Finland. I'm really just happy as, as, much as, as many as possible uh, countries are feeling that uh, there is a need and uh, the solution makes them happy. And uh, for us, for Nice, it's also very important that we have uh, such a, uh, an active global community. Uh, and I also want to say that even if NIS is responsible for <coughs> the development of the X-Road core, uh, we, we are also very happy to see contributions from, from the community.